could ignite and put strap star rating hi in this video you will learn how to use bootstrap star rating with code igniter you can also understand the concept to build dynamic star rating and practice with any framework or even pure php and mysql so why i use bootstrap star rating because it was easy to customize and compatible with bootstrap the most popular design framework and it has wonderful documentation to do everything also it was very light it used grief icon so let's start at first let's take a look to this plugin here here we have many rating forms with a star rating or even Hertz, as you can see this button for clear rating if you read like this you can clear this rating like this and the other button this button for caption to show rating values for stars five star three stars to build this rating dynamically you must use these steps first step build your schema to fit to your needs as example we here have offer rating table and d rating counter table the first table for saving offers rates or t item id to save item id or t total rates to save total rates for this item if someone like me read this item it will be one if another person save another rate it will be two rates and even 1000 rates it will be 1000 person on ORT total rates the last column ORT total points to save total points for this item we have five points it will be one or two or three or five and it will be decimal every updates will count and sum the total points another table is d rating counter this table to save item id with user id to count and identify how many users rate and count how many ratings for a specific item the next step to create new view file we named it as you see ratings.php this file have three parts first part is head tag with links to bootstrap library and then jquery library and then star rating library and finally star rating.css the second part to make a call with ajax to post ratings the third part input to generate inputs dynamically the third step is to create rating controller and rating model in rating controller file we have three functions index function is rating function 
create rate function load our language load rating model and then in index we display all rating in a specific item we have here offer that that will get details from rating model this function to get offer details with its rating by joining tables let's see rating model as you can see we joined tables d offers with d offer rating by offer id and group by offer id after this it will pass data array to the view to ratings file if rating value not equal to zero as you can see here as you can see here if ORT total rates or, or ORT total points not equal to zero then divide total points on total rates as you can see here this is the real value else set zero to value attribute the next function is rated function we use this function to check if user has rated to specific item or not we call get rate numbers in rating model and pass item id and user id after this if we go here we check if item id and user id has record or not and then return numrows return numrows if this person rate for this item it will equal above zero else it will be zero if it will be zero return false if it will be above zero it will return true so what we do with false or true we do and use it here in input we make if statement if this user login equal to false it mean if user not login disable rating or if this user has rating before to this offer and we pass offer id here then disable when we call this function by module run it will return false or true this attribute in uh, star rating or bootstrap library you can uh, return to documentation to see more and more and more attributes so if user not login or user rated to this item before then disable rating also you may notice that we have many attributes yes men mean minimum we put it to zero and maximum stars it will be five we make our star system with five stars step 
it mean if we want to rate with uh, point dot five or one or any decimal values data size mean the size for this uh, store uh, it will be xs or sm for small or extra sm or extra small or it will be lg like this for large or md medium if you use bootstrap before you will uh, notice that uh, will be uh, like a bootstrap exactly data symbol we use uh, many data symbols if you have any symbol you can put here and because we disable data uh, glyph icon and let's see the last rating function in controller function this is name create rate as you can see this function to insert or update new rate if someone has new rate that's what happened first we build dynamically ID for every input rating with item ID or offer ID this ID is unique and come from the offer table key then we use this function on rating dot change we can see this function in documentation for put strap star rating so on rating change so make new variable this variable called rate id we get this id from here and then substring the six string like this one two three four five six and then get this unique id after get this unique id we make we make post call to paste rating in this rating control and create wrong rating function here and pass the value and the pure id after both this value and pure id we use them here we have user id item id and score here we check if this item has rated with this person if yes if if no send new rate insert new rate else update this rate finally after send data successfully we make refresh to this input by rate id make refresh for this input and show clear false show caption false and make this input disabled why make it disabled because we want after send post ajax to make this user post one rating for one item and don't make rating
twice. I hope this tutorial will help you. You can get the full code from GitHub. And welcome to Web Easy Step. Thank you.